Crypto and welcome everyone to yet another episode of Tech Update with Techie SMS and in this series I used to make you familiar with all the latest tech updates happened during the span of the month in the field of DIY electronics, IoT and makers community in general and this time we are shooting outdoors because it's a quite a nice weather here at the terrace of our studio. So let's start the tech update with Techie SMS September 2021 edition. So the first update is coming from the Arduino side which is the Arduino Nuclear Sense ME. This is yet another board from the Arduino Pro series and as I said in my previous video that Arduino is now moving towards the industrial grade products and this is yet another example of that and why I'm able to con uh, conclude that it's just because when you see its intro video you will be able to see a lot of industries and a lot of machineries as uh, shown in the uh, you know intro video that clearly reveals that this board is made for the industrial purpose as well okay so yeah this is yet another board if i talk about the little bit specs of this particular board then this board is based on arm cortex m4 chipset it has these many sensors like a gyroscope and digital pressure sensor and geomagnetic sensor a lot of sensor built in and it has a built-in usb as well for programming and it has a wireless connectivity option a via bluetooth 4.2 okay and it weighs just 2 gram it's like 2.2 centimeter size only it's really small but it's really powerful so this is the new board released by arduino second update is coming from the sony side which is like when i when i saw this tweet i came to know that sony already have their own development board so this is the development board from sony called as a uh, presense or presense i don't know what it exactly spelled but yeah this is the board and the update says that this board now supports the TensorFlow. Now, TensorFlow is a quite a popular library uh, for machine learning algorithms you must be knowing, okay? So now, TensorFlow will also support this board from Sony. So, that's the latest update. Uh, more than like uh, it supports the TensorFlow, I was surprised to know that Sony have its own development board. Were you aware about this thing? Do let me know in the comments. Uh, next update is coming from our favorite or like all, all rounder company called as m Tech. So m Tech and Lilligo are those companies who are always in the list of this tech update series. So yeah, this time also they have launched a couple of boards. The first board they have launched, or the first product they have launched is the Atom Printer. Okay, so this is a printer you can say based on M5 Atom board. As you can see here is the tiny little M5 Atom board. And this printer will be used for printing basic things like to-do list and uh, a task and stuff like that so it is programmable customizable so you can customize it using the arduino program maybe okay this is the one new board released by emphasis tech second thing again from the emphasis tech is uh something new which is the im5 stamp c3 so uh, as you all must be knowing like if you're following tech case you must be knowing that m5 already launched one board called as m5 stamp which is a tiny little uh, stamp size module based on ESP32 Pico chipset okay so this is like a bigger brother to that particular stamp which is a stamp C3 so it has it will be having a new chipset it has a built-in USB which uh, the stamp was not at all having so you can program it directly using USB cable it has a built-in reset button as well which uh, previous generation was not at all having okay so this is the new board coming from the M5 stack next update is coming from the new brand called as Udo or Udo maybe so they launched that Kickstarter campaign uh, and it's about development board which has built in ESP32 and built in Raspberry Pi Pico board as you can see this is the image of that particular board so ESP32 and Raspberry Pi Pico so this is kind of a new board and when you see its price you will be shocked it is just for four dollars which is mentioned inside this particular tweet for four dollars you'll be getting ESP32 and Raspberry Pi Pico combined board and like I'm really surprised and shocked as well is it really possible to get that this particular price i i don't know but yeah this is the board they have released and they have released for an ai platform i don't know much details about it i just saw this tweet and i just shared this news with you that this is something new which is released in the market okay after that we have a new update from the lily go so this is just a continuation to the previous update so in the previous episode i just uh you know made you familiar that titty go is uh, sorry lily go is planning to make his own uh, a smartwatch for like T Watch 2021 edition, and here is the video, uh, which will uh, I'm not able to load this video. Let me just refresh this page. So yeah, here is the video which shows the UI of that particular watch, and just look at this UI. Can you say it's a like a development base, a development board based device? I I can't say it at a first glance. It's it looks like an actual complete consumer grade product. It's, it is quite smooth. Its UI is quite interactive as well. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just loving it. I really want this watch as soon as it comes in the market. I, I'm looking forward to, to this particular watch. So yeah, these were all the latest boards that were released in the span of the month. Now let's talk about the updates in the cloud platform or we saw a software side. So the news coming is from the Blink.io. So 
Uh, many of you people asked me when I released the video about Blink that, hey, how you got this dark theme? Like, I didn't got, like, we all got this dark theme. So it's an update from the Blink side introducing the dark theme for Blink, okay? So now you can, you know, change the theme of your web dashboard uh, from light to dark as per your choice, okay? They are also planning to uh, launch the dark theme for smartphones soon, but it is not available as of now, but soon they will be announcing this particular update. As soon as it, it goes live, I'll let you know in my Instagram or Twitter. So do follow me on those two platforms. Okay, so that's the update from the Blink side. So now it's the time to see what are the project updates. Like what are the new interesting projects that were made in the span of the month. So first update is coming from Robotics Kanti. Now this is a super interesting project. So what this guy did, this guy made a speaker. So making a speaker that plays sound is not a new thing. But he made with the help of this ultrasonic drums, you can say. And the speciality of this thing is you'll be only able to listen the song in one single direction when the speaker face towards you. And when it's like not facing towards you, you won't be able to listen that sound. So that's the speciality of this particular uh, speaker project that were made by this robotics Kanti. This is super interesting. So do watch this video, then you only come to know the difference between the regular speaker and this particular uh, he said as laser sound speaker. Okay, so that's an interesting project. Now this month I didn't find any more interesting projects. Genuinely, I didn't like any of the projects. Do let me know which projects you like, which were released in the span of the month, which is the September 2021. Do let me know. Like I just like this particular one. And the last update is coming from my channel, Sachin Sony only. Now this is something uh, which I need to share. This is an oxygen generator. So during the COVID time, we have seen many of the oxygen generator that uses the uh, oxygen concentrator compressor kind of thing that sucks the air from the atmosphere and you know, you know separates the oxygen out and provides it out but this is the oxygen generator which was made using some chemical reaction by this guy uh, here in Ahmedabad only I visited this GTU campus and at that particular place I saw this particular guy with his particular this project okay he generates oxygen with uh, some chemical reaction and the oxygen concentration is like 95% pure oxygen is getting to watch this video out it's super interesting project okay and one last update which i want to share which is not here inside this particular thing let me just open my youtube channel so the really last but really really important update which is about the giveaway so i have announced a giveaway that has a prizes like raspberry pi 4b home automation project and uh, m5 stamp and way more uh, you know interesting uh, gifts are there inside that particular giveaway so do participate in that giveaway to get a chance to win any of the exciting prizes let me just show you that particular prizes uh, in the video so here is the first prize which is the raspberry pi pico the second prize is uh, the all-in-one home automation project third prize is the esp32 cam the fourth prize is the raspberry pi pico then we have uh, m5 stamp as well in the prize list and in the end the tech sms t-shirt and tech sms pocket notebook uh, these are the eight different prizes for eight of the winners okay you just need to follow the simple step mentioned in the description and after that you need to make this like counter reach to 5000 so as soon as this mark reaches the 5000 i will be announcing the winners of this giveaway so yeah that was all about all the updates of uh, september 2021 coming from this tech sms tech update series i hope you liked it i hope you got to know something new from it and if it's so, consider liking this video and support us so that we can continue making this particular series, okay? That being said, I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video to explore, learn, share with me, Tech SMS.